Now take a look at this picture. This is Jake Patterson. He's accused of killing Jamie Kloss's parents and then kidnapping her. Tonight, he's behind bars and Kloss has been found. She is recovering. John Loritzen has more from the town where she was found. A sign on the Dairy Queen in Barron, Wisconsin says, Welcome home, Jamie, after word spread that Jamie Kloss is alive and safe nearly three months after she disappeared. It's amazing the will of that 13-year-old girl to survive and escape. Investigators say Kloss turned up in Gordon, Wisconsin, a heavily wooded area about 65 miles from her home. They say she escaped on foot from where she was being held. She approached a dog walker who took her to a nearby home for help. She looked really tired and like she's been fighting a battle for weeks. In cases like this, we often need a big break and it was Jamie herself who gave us that break. Kloss had been missing since her parents were shot to death in the family's home outside Barron on October 15th. Authorities say she had been taken against her will by 21-year-old Jake Patterson from Gordon. Investigators say they believe Kloss, who witnessed her parents' deaths, was Patterson's only target, although they didn't give a motive. I can tell you that the subject planned his actions and took many proactive steps to hide his identity from law enforcement and the general public. Law enforcement officials say after months of searching for Kloss, it was an emotional moment when they found out she was alive. My legs started to shake, man. It was, it was awesome. It was just distress and relief. Authorities asked for privacy for the young teen and her family as she goes through the healing process. John Lordson, CBS News, Barron, Wisconsin. Amazing that she was found alive after three months. Here's a timeline of the Kloss case. It was back on October 15th that Jamie's parents were killed and she went messing, missing. Then on the 22nd, the sheriff asked for 2,000 volunteers to search. A couple of days later, the FBI offered a reward for information. Just before Jamie's parents were laid to rest on the 27th. Then, on October 28th, the man broke into the Kloss home, but he was later cleared in the murders and the kidnapping. On November 17th, hunters were urged to be on the lookout for clues. And on December 4th, Barron County dedicated its Christmas tree to Jamie. They never gave up hope, and now they've been rewarded. She's been found alive.